Great museum up there. But Edison missed it, giving it away. So on his Halloween birthday, 1929, his wife surprised him by building this. It's called a lab office. You can't do a lot of experiments in here. It wasn't made for that. But Edison did most of his letter writing, his personal papers, his memoirs. And he even made sketches out of his future inventions that he wanted to do. Plans for the future. We got him in catalogs today. Thinking about maybe finding out those things. I think he had written something written down in one of the papers called Computer. You've heard of it. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go out the back door, ladies and gentlemen, and there's a memorial garden in the back here dedicated to the second Mrs. Edison, Minor Miller, when she died in 1947 at the age of 82. The one responsible was her middle son, Charles Edison. He loved his mother very much, and he wanted to make sure there was something left on the Edison estate. It's a tribute just for her. So you look in the back, you see the uh, bust of Minor Miller, the dedication plaque that he made possible. It's on the ground. It says Mother on it. It's a special poem that he composed for this heart as a tribute to Minor Miller, the second says his mother. I get sugar from it's a sugar cane. And that's still my family. You never left the Edison Museum, you know? So you could tell Chris doing this. Because I'm the only one who's not there. Rubber tree. Rubber? Rubber? Indian rubber tree. What's rubber tree? Let's see if it really is rubber. It's really rubber. It's really rubber. Home. We're going to the Edison home. Edison's water fountain. It's a green one, though. Look at all the fuzz on that tree. just heard, oh I just heard another noise. That's real. Tobacco? No. Bamboo. Bamboo. Tobacco. <laughs> What's the back? I'm looking for a new filament for the liquid light bulb. You invented the light bulb in 1870. Come on, it's so cool. It's bamboo tree. It's also from the grass, man. Huh? What's that? Matthew. It's back if you take over the whole property. There'll be nothing but bamboo on here. 
cool bamboo trees, huh? Where's that old tour guy? House for Edison. Edison's bird house. <laughs> now we're going inside the Edison house, which is really fun, I guess. And I'm going to pause right now so you can get it in. This is the Edison winter house. three months with him down here. Working in the main laboratory across the street. At the end of the three months, they'd all pack up and go back to their main homes and laboratory in Western Orange, New Jersey. Work up there. When it came time, it came the last part of December, and they start packing up and coming this way. I think they referred to them as the first uh, snowbirds. Uh, Wonder where it came from, snowbirds? Well, that's where it's from. Edison designed two houses. He did it himself. Plan these houses out, this one here and his friend's house, because they're duplicates. You're going to see the other one, too. He sent a sample of those plans up to a friend in Maine, near Fairfield, Maine. And these were cut out of raw lumber, pre-cut, on a yellow pine, loaded aboard four schooners in 1886, and set sail up there. Sail along. Uh, this must be Edison's place to hang. It's a fire thing. This is Edison's bedroom. Edison's bedroom. He was one messy kid. This is another place of Edison's. Ooh, that is. No idea who that is. And we're going to another place of Edison's right here. Oh, it's his living room where he played the piano and stuff. Look at that. Let's get a better view of it. Might have heard of sonar. He also came up with a basic uh, idea for radar, except it was a group in the Second World War and, and over in England. And all kinds of finding and seeking devices, because the biggest threat to our coast and both wars were submarines getting too close to our shipping lanes and sinking ships. This was a sign of staff at any day. Definitely something to do with it. <laughs> Birds of Edison, da 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 da, da 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 Birds of Edison, birds of Edison. Look at all the pretty birds and his eggs and boys. Edison's name, and this was a woman's medicine photograph. Edison found out about it, his heart was broken. Broken? He crossed over a road to get 
get on this side, remember? McGregor. Ambrose McGregor in those days was chairman of the board of Sandro. He had lots of bills and lots of money. Things. He had a chance to buy the property. He did. And then he sold it to Edison. And Edison turned it into a guest yeah, house and now he became famous because of the people that he invited yeah, down. Yeah. Like presidents and vice presidents and Charles Lindbergh and Amelia Earhart, the Colgate family and Herbert Hoover, Queen Wilhelmina from the Netherlands, and the list goes on. If I was to speak of the name Amelia Earhart, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. The last year I hit, I've taken through here, they said she was a famous golfer. Is that true? Yeah. 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 Maybe she was. I, I couldn't argue with that. Maybe she played ball. Was she any good at it? <laughs> but really, we're talking about the young lady that was on a flight. What is that? That's a big, that's one big statue of a pelican. It's a Chinese checker. She's looking at me. Oh look, he has a Chinese checker set. <laughs> I have one too. This is Edison, it must be Edison's little kitty swing and set thingy. What bird is that over there? Oh, I guess it is. And that's um, a pelican, I guess. No, that's a pelican and that's a heron. Heron. And it's another spider thing. And look, there's, a, there's yet another gate. Is up thingy where we can look at? Oh, it's dining room. <laughs> This is where rich old inventor Edison had dinner. Nice, huh? This is that old, this is Edison's kitchen again. And, excuse me. Edison's kitchen. Wait, this is his kitchen, that's the other place is the dining room. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at all this food. Oh look, medicine, I'm gonna check out all this food. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it was less than that. And that is the longest running production. 
ever. They made them in Germany, started making them in 1937 in Germany and continued to 1967. And in 68, they manufactured and brought them here. 68. So it's the longest running production car ever is the Volkswagen Beetle. From north, and west, up north, you call them what? Bug? 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 Henry Ford is not the one that invented the automobile. Let's make sure of that. The man that invented the automobile was from Germany. Stop. Stop. In 1886, he was the first controller. I'm going to take it away from you, man. And his full name was Carl T. Benz. His financial backer was Mr. Daimler. And Mr. Daimler had a friend that had a young daughter, and they wanted to free company to introduce her name into the company, and her name was Mercedes. Put it together with Benz, and we get what? Ben, considered to be one of the finest in your They're in Ford's house now. These are his cars. I don't know which one is the Model T. Maybe they all are. Maybe they have different kinds of Model T's. What's that? Litter box. Litter box. Litter box. A kitty's been there. I a kitty has been there. I can see. <laughs> Oh, look, here's another one. Ladies and gentlemen, after all, two little boxes. The car on my left is a one ton truck called a Witty TT truck. 1917. Got solid rubber on the back, it's got pneumatics in the front. The reason for solid rubber on the back of the truck is because it was needed. If you had a full load made it into fatty, was something that happened on December the 7th, 1941. What happened there, ladies? Uh, Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Yes. And that put us into the Second World War and we will never, never be the same. The wings on both sides of the house because they needed more sleeping space. This is an this outhouse. This wing that was put on by Henry Ford. An ugly outhouse. Was for his guest. He had special people invited down here. He wanted to make sure they'd be comfortable, so he had their own. They had their own bedroom in that. Used as a nursery. You'll see a, thing, a crib in there for his grandchildren when they were young. As a nursery. The bathroom was also utilized at the same time put there. Of course, someone asked me the other day, why do they have these colored pictures? Because at one time, they didn't have only white, right? Well, by 1940, the bigger family colored fixtures. Wow, look at all this stuff. We're going to stay here, ladies, because uh, we're going to talk here and have a It's Edison's other kitchen. Yep. Yep. Other people are back there. Yeah, I'll let you. Well, she's kitchen, huh? I guess those are big food. I wonder if he hears since then. Pantry. Kitchen stuff. Uh, way outside. Pause time. It is getting dark. The most important thing in this room that I think is the musical device in the corner here. It's called a melodeon. It looks like a piano. It is not. It's an organ. You have to pull a full of air to get it to work. And she loved to play this, Clara, for her friends. And she did. 
I heard it play one time around Christmas time about five, four or five years ago and it sounds beautiful especially for Christmas carols. It's a very high melodic sound. It sounds like an accordion only high pitch. It sounds beautiful. The next room beyond that is the butler's pantry. This is where all the food was brought in and prepared before it was actually brought in and served. And beyond that is the kitchen. I did want to point out that all the appliances... What you are looking at is the servant's bedroom. Yeah. Servant's toilet and stuff. The mother tree is bigger. Set it out as as he sprung something in a stick from India, where this tree came from. A note said, "Dear Mr. Edison, this tree, this tree grows very big. I would plant it outside of a large space if I were you." So he did. And you want to see what the real mother mother root is? That guy didn't move over. Um. See that, see that X that looks like a lot, see those two lines that looks like an X? Where'd it go? Where'd they go? Dude, it looks like an X. That's the mother root. It's really cool if you ask me. And here's some more pieces of it. All directions, all the way around. Well, mother root. Of course. Mom's really surprised. They all are. Man. Who wouldn't be? This document is over. Using oils and fossil fuels, the combination of all the elements and other things made it possible to have the latex used today throughout the world. And most of the things we used for was in making things for hospitals, all kind of gimmicks, tubes of oil, latex gloves, hot water bottles. And if you could use your imagination, you could think of any other thing that you can make. These were all the medicines. Did you know that it's all the stuff? Why do we keep collecting jars? Turn the light down there. Turn the light down there. It's all the stuff that he likes to collect. Turn the light down there. No! The lack of sleep that he took at night. That's okay. Turn the light down there. He keeps on leaving. The guy got the medicine was lying down there. He placed it on it. He preferred a form. His wife Katie didn't lay on the floor and decided to put a stop to it. So from upstate New York, she ordered down army surplus cots. We believe from World War One they could stop. Place him in every one of his work areas, laboratories, or offices, wherever he be. Could never be excused after that. I'm sleeping on the floor instead of the cot. And he better not. Right, Thomas Edison? Yes. yes. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Let's take a walk. How do I video take this if it's if it's dark? Well, what? Don't what? Yeah. 
Yeah, like it's in the truck. Oh, that's a wood chopping machine. What? Wood chopping. Good chop. Wood. Ten pieces, maybe? First anvil, Mom. First one? I guess. We must have made it really heavy and really bigger and stuff. Oh, I'm gonna grip up the light bulb. The first light bulb. Oh.